Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is an update on the update. Uh, when last we talked about skincare, I had tried to provide some cruelty-free and paraben-free options for people who wanted to use my anti-aging skincare routine, but were looking for products that were completely cruelty-free or completely paraben-free. So in that video, I tried to provide alternatives to my products that I like that contain the same anti-aging active ingredients. At the time that I had made that video, I hadn't actually used any of the products yet. Since then, I've been able to use the products. I've been using them for over a month now, and so I have a little bit of feedback to tell you what things stayed, what things have gone, how much success I've had with them. So another part of that video was also that I was trying to swap things out to improve the look of my pores because um, apparently you guys, a lot of you have the same problem I do where as you age, you know, your skin just loses a little bit of collagen elasticity and so of course your pores appear bigger and mine seem to be appearing bigger and bigger as the days go by these days and so I'm trying to look for things that will help to make my pores appear smaller. Uh, so that was the second part of the video. So let me just go over quickly the cruelty-free, paraben-free products, uh, tell you what I thought of the ones that I did introduce in, and then I'll talk about the pores second. For an AM and PM moisturizer, I went with this one, which is the Earth Science Healthy Skin Ceramide Facial Lotion. I had been using this for about a week when it started to irritate my skin. I don't see anything in here that particularly stands out to me as irritating, but this started to sting and burn. So I stopped using this one, and so I picked up this Andalou Naturals Fruit Stem Cell Science Acai and White Tea Oil-Free Moisturizer. It is clarifying and it is supposed to be a matte finish and help with the look of your pores. So this kind of also goes into the whole pore thing. This one does not contain ceramides. And the reason that it's fine that it doesn't have the ceramides is because the product that I was mixing that moisturizer with in the morning was the Paula's Choice Resist Hyaluronic Acid Booster. And this is where we were getting the ceramides from anyway. So the way you use this is you're supposed to mix it in with your moisturizer. I gotta say, I really don't like doing that. I'm not a big fan of using my hand as like a little mixing bowl. I feel like too much of the product gets absorbed into my palm. I did mix them together a bit, but now I use them separately. I see why they want you to mix this because it is thick and sticky. So once you get it on there, it does leave like a little bit of a sticky residue. So my morning skincare routine is basically for my serums, I put on my Timeless 20% Vitamin C plus E plus Perulic Acid Serum. Then after that, I put on my Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum. Then after that, I put on the Paula's Choice Resist Hyaluronic Acid Booster, and then I top it with this moisturizer. So that's been working out pretty well. So for my evening routine, I would wash my face, then I would put on my Retin-A, then after that, I used to put on my Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Serum and Cream. Instead, I went with uh, two different moisturizers, the AM Moisturizer and the Mad Hippie. So I showed you this in the other video. This was providing the niacinamide and the peptides, that I was getting from the Olay products. And this, I gotta say, I absolutely love. So after I put on my Retin-A, I put this over the top, and then I top it all off with this. My only problem is that they do use a lot of botanicals and they're all fragranced. I would prefer it if they had no fragrance. So that's what I've been using at night and it's been working just fine. It wasn't quite as smoothing and my skin didn't look you know, quite as healthy and moisturized as it does with my previous skincare routine, but it wasn't an epic fail either. These products actually worked quite well, and um, my skin has actually looked pretty good. So for the pores, I had swapped from the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser in the morning to the CeraVe Salicylic Acid Cleanser. I felt like this definitely had an effect on my skin, but not for the better. Um, it is formulated at a fairly low pH, which it should be for the salicylic acid to actually absorb and work. The problem is that because I use Retin-A and you know all that other stuff, my skin can't really take even a mild salicylic acid cleanser. So it was really irritating my skin. When my skin gets irritated, it starts breaking out. And so I was having all kinds of breakouts when I was using that, so I stopped using that. I went back to the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for my morning 
skin wash because this really is a very mild, very gentle cleanser. My face likes it. But for the evening, I was looking for a way to, after I remove my makeup, to then help my pores a little bit. So I picked up Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Clay Cleanser. And this is supposed to minimize pores, detoxify for clear porcelain skin. So it's supposed to help with your acne, it's supposed to make your pores look smaller. It's got French green clay, it's got Moroccan lava clay, vitamin C, it's also got black pepper, sandalwood, frankincense, jasmine. It literally smells like clay from your ceramics class that you took in the middle school, right? So it's almost like a mask. I smear it all over my face, I let it sit there anywhere from 10 seconds to 2 minutes, and then I splash it with water and rinse it off. I feel like though it has had a little bit of an effect on my pores, like I feel like they are looking a little bit smaller and that is the only thing that I have changed for the pores as well. So now what I'm thinking of trying, I'm actually going to order it later today, is the Paula's Choice Resist 10% Niacinamide Booster. I'm going to give that a try and I will report back on that. So that will probably be a video about pores. That was the video for today everybody. As always, I thank you for your time. I really appreciate your watching and I'll see you in the next video. So take care everybody. Bye-bye.